So last episode you've seen us going on the defensive, we had proper dedicated ourselves to not getting smashed by multiple tribes and then you've seen the tribes were clearly teaming and then merged into each other when they failed over and over again and we pushed them off, we became beefier and we kind of locked it down a lot better and people weren't really testing or pushing on us that much. As that settled though, another three tribes started going at our ab base. Now, obviously, the first main one that was quite big on the server, they failed and then fucked off. But then what we had was two tribes teaming, both actively raiding our base, and we only had one person defending it at the time and stopping them, which was kind of fucking annoying. So we decided we would find their base, and for this, we would literally wipe them off the entire cluster. And that's kind of what you see this episode us going a bit more aggressive, doing a raid for some fat loot because the base time was down a little bit. Now, the guys were active, but we thought, fuck it, we'll just go raid them, get some loot, get it knocked out pretty fast, and then we'll go for the proper raid again against the other guys, wipe them and see what we can do. But before we did that, we needed some better BPs, we kind of wanted a mech to clear some spam but higher damage, so we hit up at OSD, and even when we were doing the OSD, we were already getting sniped, and these were the guys that you've seen previously in one of the episodes, Paul and Medita, that were caught using the aimbot. Now, in my honest opinion, I don't think they were using it this time, and if they were, it was the shittest aimbot I've seen, but yeah, that's kind of how we start this episode off. So, I'll be honest, I'm not a fan of tech bows. I think they're annoying as fuck, like, I do prefer it before they weren't in the game. Or maybe a little nerf, because you can literally just, like, don't get us wrong, I've done it myself, you can decimate people with, like, overcap tech bows and just destroy teams, it's like really fucking annoying, but we didn't want to PvP these guys again, we were there for mech BPs and other loots for the raid you couldn't be seeing, because we just wanted some loot and we needed to clean foundations without using C4, and obviously like an R throws are too slow, so mechs just wipe it out, get through vaults and it just saves resources. So we went straight over after that, we did get the loot out and the guy fucked off, but if you stick around on drops, what to do is they'll call out in world PvP you when they can't really do much, and then every tribe turns up and you've got six tribes fighting for a drop and nobody gets a loot. So it's not really logical. Now a lot of people do do that, but we prefer to maybe, you know, PvP when needed rather than every single second. Because if I'm honest, a lot of these tribes didn't survive, whereas we did because we were kind of using our fucking brain cells. So then what we did is we went over, started raiding this guy, but we needed the ammo. Like if you can get ammo and you don't have to grind it, it saves time so you can do other stuff. And you know, you're not kind of wasting day after day just grinding and you can kind of multitask and, and grow faster and you know do better raids and just have more fun so we kind of knew this guy's base was fairly beefy we didn't know if he was prominent or not or like we didn't really give a shit but we just wanted to drop the hatch frames and then we kind of conserve the ammo do as minimal soaking as we can and just kind of get it wiped as fast as possible get in get the loot get the fuck out there kind of looked like he wasn't too active like we knew he was active i think on other maps but like we thought he'd kind of just half assed this base or whatnot so we just wanted to get Get in and loot the lot. <laughs> I love how you're getting shot three times. Forty three house, thirty two melee. This time is shit, 20 spam. Well, this shit too. The fuck? I used to work in the line somewhere. Gunpowder and stuff. Tons of metal. Oh, and the buttons. So yeah, come in, come in, come in. On my way. I'm gonna blow up some walls as well. Let's attack Jim back up, this big problem. I don't think they have the alley. Oh shit, it's all, everything's on me. Yeah, he's whistled. Oh no. This is... 
It's lagged. Oh mate, someone needs to get in here now, eh? He's fucking fucking I'm on my way, buddy. I'm, I'm doing my best to clear from the wall. I'm pushing in. Good, you're doing good, you're doing good. I think you're good. You're done. Yeah, that's me, it's me, I've been blown up the wall. You wanna move? He's got the hack on his fast for me. Rip. Oh, they still have fjord hogs. Don't go there, don't go there, JC. Oh boy. Can you drop the fridge? Oh. Drop it over there, good sir. No fertilized eggs in the pitch. So what happened to all the eggs that were with you, Ass? I love you, it's not a lot. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm then here. I'm dead. They're here. The crafting area. Take my Giga, or we sell Can't see him anywhere, but he's somewhere there. I got him, I got him, on me. Oh. Killed him. There's still a lot, there's a lot of metal, like a lot. No, we're gonna have to drop this one. Where's the foundational spot for this fucking wall? Man. It's connected to the ceiling. Nope, I've got it. It's all gone. <laughs> oh, I froze. Wall's dropped. We need to get all the ammo and shit where you just get for this. We bring the best day. We just want the money walls. Did you guys get my body? Oh shit. Uh, your body was empty when I found it. So whoever killed him got it on their Giga. No, no, it's not on my Giga. I didn't get anything. I just got killed him. Uh, um, if I was too fat, I wouldn't have picked his body up. It'll be on the floor in the bag. Once you get over halfway on the Giga, you'd have found it. Found it. Where is way, it? There's no beds here. Getting back in here now, mate. Well, actually, it might be everything. It's not here. I think I'm killed everybody. Like, I'm finishing the last shit now. Can I root, but I <laughs> it's my body, man. <laughs> and I got a really high level text trigger off this guy. Holy shit. I bought everything, man. He's got a pit with. Yeah. Oh, I know. Ben is still off. I'm right here, bro. I just. No power. Oh, fuck. Yeah. I'm sitting here waiting on my power to come back on. Can someone come to the ND Forges? Do you see any bags here? Stegos and shit. Tech rifles. Nuts. We just need element and start to pull stuff out with the tech suit. I am, I'm gonna tech suit and pick you up. 
Any Come here to where I am in the crafting area. Crafting area has a lot of metal. And poly. Uh, uh, come to me here, come to where I am, because there's stuff that's uh, not in bags. Can you just pick them up? See me? Oh, there's loads of element there. Uh, what's on under you, grab those? Yeah. Get the CP, mate, the crystal, the door frames. Can you pop on these to me? So the hatch frames, flames, uh, not all of it, like hatch frames and flame things in there. Uh, metal arrows, door frames, a couple of the green hatchets, the oil, that ferry settles class, a couple of mastercraft long necks, the bear traps, and the metal arrows. Uh, yeah, door frames. That should be all the good stuff. Oh, wait, the bear trap. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. the daddies are still up, so it's fine. Let me at least go. I want to. Put the strider away. That I'm Yeah. Uh, if your giga falls in lava, it's gone. Nah, it's fine, mate. As long as, not, as long as it kills him, it's just I don't want him fucking popcorn and all them because there's fucking shit yeah. in the deadies. This guy must have like us, by the way, where uh, there's log updates on a Discord. Yeah, I he only jumped in once we destroyed stuff. Most fuck, do we? Coming, but a bit slow. Do you have a tech suit or no? Yep. Okay, cool. Just grab the boxes on the ground and I'll drop you more. Yeah, I don't think so. These guys had ascended Titan. The has got like so much veg and shit in. Uh, I'll come back over here, but there's like 15k or more on the year, so we could knock out like thousands of veggie cakes or boats. <laughs> oh mate, this shit here, give, give me all the veg, what the fuck, there's fucking loads huh? of blood. Right here, mate, there's loads Ow. of Ow, ow. There's a mech outside. Ooh. Right, give me the blood bags right. quickly, mate. Uh, give me all the lemons, all the honey. They yeah, have a mac outside. Ah, yeah, no, it's all good. Veggie cakes, mate. Um, more honey. <laughs> JC's panicking and we're like, give us the honey, mate, and some crops. Why is he always... Everything on me is gone, and you are yeah, <laughs> you care about honey and lemon fucking shit? <laughs> There's a fucking man outside, <laughs> matching us. We can't go outside and you're talking about veggie cake. I'll get the gig out. Yes, he just turned full on fucking Indian. Have a giga you can rush him with? He's just on a mech. I'll come out with a mana. Got a car car in the lot, eh? Check that team. Oh, it's him, it's him, yeah, yeah, yeah. he killed me. I can, I can uh, freeze him with the mana if you can that's just not, attack him. That's, that's not him that's told my B, we getting counter fobs. Um, they have a fob? Well, they used to at some point. Killed him. Yeah, he had a starter kit. So, what happened there was we were just kind of getting up loot. Like, we, I knew they were outside, I knew something was gonna happen because, you know, we were raiding and the other guys wanted to raid too, but we were there first. So I kind of thought they'd grief us, but then when they popped up with mechs and all sorts, it was crazy. I killed Vlado there, but then that was it. I couldn't record anymore because at the time he only had like a shit M2, so like I've got a bigger one now for recording. So it ensued a battle that went on for maybe like an hour. We blew up, they tried to run the mech into the water. We blew that up, kind of cleaned anything out of theirs, and then we kind of got that shit off fast. Put it away, re-kitted up, reorganized, saddled up, and then we went straight to hit these other guys kind of directly after and started raiding them. These were the guys that had tried the team was on Arb and Field, and they, they had a decent base. I mean, it was okay, it wasn't the best, but we were like, fuck it, wipe these guys. We just got like so much loot, like the video doesn't even show it, it really helped us out. As you could tell, we were all tired because we just came from like the three days of raid and then days before that, and it was just a fucking battering. And now we were like 
like surviving that and we were pushing forward starting to hit back and tech fork out we're getting decent resources a lot of the stuff you didn't see was going to help us take our next main base location and it saved us so many fucking hours of grinding so everyone was happy and we thought fuck it let's take these guys out get some more loot and if it turns good then we'll go for the base rather than doing it the following week we thought we'll just set it up and hit main and take it see if we can you know lock it down the base was on scorched earth so it's an unusual base i haven't built in in a long 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 time but uh you'll see how that plays out i'll just let the raid play out and show you what happened Azrael, can you move back a bit? He's logged out, eh? He's logged out, you think so, Arpa? He's gonna protect him. He's fucking logged off the base, man. Nice. We need to keep this timer going then. We definitely had him on that timer, either. yeah we do, we, there's no way he got out in time. No, I destroyed the turret. So I keep this by bit, eh? I'm basically taking no damage. Good, just keep soaking, I'm trying to find this out. We can sell it. Yeah, you can go. I will take everything. Everything! Leave me some, man. Why do you have to take turrets too? No. Why are we taking three? Just take one or two and we can soak longer. We are, because I think honestly, 15 minutes, 1 o'clock, we'd be able to handle this and get this shit in Just maybe get them all pushed. Right, you chop down me and bacon, I'll get rid of this shit over here. I'm gonna be from here, Azriel, you see where I'm at? The ones here and away from you. So we don't mix our C4 together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then it just makes it a little bit easier for her to get rid of. Then she can get this fob. We'll get the stuff out, we'll get a force field, and then we'll just leave our fob here and I'll put it in selling an extinction wasteland cave. Yeah, but we'll sell it. No, we'll sell it. Sell it. We'll just say sell an extinction wasteland cave. Good deal. Element of points. Good deal. And then we'll just get someone. The first person that offers is it. Just take it and just fucking give it to them because it's not like we'll be able to hold it. No, exactly. How did it die? You, it's that you get and you're pushing them further now, mate. So then once I want it to book nine walls, it can just take you right off and you can shoot over the mesh. Oh, what the fuck? What just happened? I think I blew Bacon blew his and I fucking blew mine. Yeah. <laughs> I survived that? How? Now you're naked. Because <laughs> you lost everything that was on. It literally stripped me of all... The only reason I'm alive is because... Well, I can drop down to you guys, so I must go back to the job. Killing this Giga now. It's enraged. Whistle passive, somebody whistle passive and whistle that shit out there. Killed it. Hey. I got I got two battery charge on me. Coming, he's coming. He's tech pulling, he's trying to kill the tech rex, move the tech rex. Any turns, it's directly in front of us, not a soccer move out of the way. I was trying to 
trying to win. He's netted as this, my little fucker. Tech, focus golem, tech rifle golem. Yep. So what's gonna do the most? Hey, he's what's he gone? Where's golem gone? And now we'll go for the Amnesaurus head. Yeah. Here we go. Nice, nice. I was gonna say, if Kingdom Dead uh, Tech Bow does about 600 damage per hit. The UT is right click scare has done more or no? All the bags are picked up, the, I think they're gonna put them in the So that they're oh, picking no. the turret up and they're putting them higher. Them no, no, because they're not picking the bags up. Yeah, they are fun, but they're, they're putting them higher because the higher they are, they're obviously the secret is to So there you had it. We had basically got a fucking decent loot from the first raid. These guys had teamed us. We needed to teach them a lesson. We needed to apply pressure and we needed to kind of wipe them fully and just kind of make them quit or at least back them off into a location so they back the fuck off and no not test us again. That way, the tribes we've defended against kind of look for easier targets, gives us a bit of time to work on our next main base, our main project that'll secure our spot even further on the server if we can survive the raids and keep doing this. But so far we were doing quite good, it was quite impressed with like what we had done, um, and we were always kind of getting teamed or some bullshit was happening, but just we just cracked well. on. But yeah, so yeah. far so good. Now, going into next week, we had to beef up we really had to progress and we needed to get a much bigger base more like that you'd see on official smalls now this was basically official small server the same rates and whatnot um, it did have the increased sort of damage and stuff but at the time of going to this it was literally the end of arc so it was kind of pointless playing on official it was just aimbot but this was like a super active server it was really fun and it kind of gives us that feel and what it used to be like without all the exploits but i won't ramble on much i'll let you check that out in the next video the next three episodes are going to be pretty fucking crazy they're going to be pvp heavy and they're going to be quite pve on building a fat as fuck base that we've grinded out loads on what i can say is the pvp does get more end game you know fortnite and all that bullshit and annoying tech bows um, and you know defending cages and TPs and whatnot, but it is fun. Hopefully you're enjoying the series so far Drop a comment down below Let me know what you think because it helps with the algorithm hit the like button and subscribe because I've got a lot more content coming for Ark Survival Ascended, Ashes of Creation and Potentially June down the line, but these are going to be my main games that I go to and that I cover I just wanted to get the Ark Survival Evolved footage out and probably do some montages with it before ASA drops As always, I really do appreciate you watching and I'll catch you soon the next one. Cheers.